how to correctly build a 997-996 turbo Mesger engine that can produce 1,000 plus horsepower reliably without having any issues. Starting from here is the solid IMS gear. This is from a GT3 motorsports car. It's all a one piece. So if we tap it, you can really hear that. The factory 997 turbo IMS gear has bolts in it. They are known to unbolt. We have one here that's unbolted, so I'll make a video later on going over that. So this is why we go with the solid. We are using Motorsports GT3 case halves that have dual oil sprayers for proper cooling and lubrication of pistons and cylinders. This is a must upgrade for high horsepower and high heat applications and we definitely recommend it. Only the Motorsport case halves have dual oil sprayers. The original case halves that have a single oil sprayer we are not using. The case halves have been butchered from a previous build by another shop due to incorrectly sized studs and uh, nothing can save it even time search so we actually had to get cases and the cases had a lot of miles on them so they flex and over time they will blow uh, because the car was used as a race car this engine generates a lot of heat and we want to keep that heat down especially on these liners that way we don't warp taper and all validity is a big problem so we want to avoid that as best as we can so this will prevent that by many 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 miles and hours on this engine this Nicosil is actually a coating special application for steel, which Nicosil is typically known for billet aluminum, but it does work amazing when it's properly applied on the steel Nicosil. So this is why we use that. Mating it with an 80-40 crank, which is a stroker crank with these little short rods, makes this a 4-1. And this is a 4-0, so we have to bore this out in order for our cylinders to fit in. So there's a lot of components and a lot of processing that goes into building a proper performance engine for your 997 Turbo or GT3, GT2 car. This in particular one is gonna be 997 and it's gonna go in a turbo car, but it's gonna be a better engine than a GT2 because it has this amazing motorsports case half which will allow us to have less heat on the cylinder side because the pistons and everything is gonna be cooled properly. These will be sent out for coatings as well. We do run coatings on our pistons. Uh, the rods, these are Corella rods. This is a custom crankshaft made specifically for this vehicle. Now you cannot just drop in a GT3 crankshaft. It does not work. There's a lot of modification that needs to be done as far as the 4.0 80 40 millimeter crank the stroker ones now the standard gt3s do not have the strong stroker crank so that's off limits now why do we have brand new housings well the old ones that are originally in the engine got ruined uh, somebody pretty much messed them up when they were doing Fire control rings and this is why we have new heads as well they were ruined as well and i'll make a separate video on that so we didn't want to compromise such a premium build and use any old parts so your proper brand new parts that way we don't have problems here's our big boy turbos i mean they're huge you can see my hand huge turbo system and uh there's a lot of other components that we have as far as lines we have brand new camshafts so i actually removed the cam from my packaging this is a brand new camshaft 997 turbo camshaft as you can look through here you can see light coming through okay this is the part that needs to be pinned bushing here that gets pressed in this is actually a two-piece and this part from use will actually rotate and when that happens it obstructs the oil flow right there so what it'll do is when it rotates it'll do this and now you're gonna have lazy codes basically zero zero correlation faults so that has to be done now why we're replacing the camshaft well i'll tell you why 
when the cylinder heads were originally modified by another shop, they installed these extremely heavy springs, which is completely not necessary. Unless you're trying to run 10,000 RPMs, which you'll kill your engine before you could even enjoy it. But what they were doing is they didn't properly adjust and, uh, the actual spring. So when the spring was compressing, it was compressing on itself because the spacing was improper and it wore the heck out of the lobes on all the camshafts. Now, I will make a video showing the actual wear and the damage of the original engine build because that thing is such like terrible, terrible job and why everybody has a different approach to building and there's not a one size fits all. There's no such thing as, hey, I, I can get it built cheaper elsewhere. Well, you're gonna get a cheaper build. That's just how it is. If you wanna get a nice build, you're gonna to have to pay to play. If you don't want to do it and you don't want to spend the money, it's best not to mess with it. Because once you're all in, you want to do it right the whole time. You don't want to skimp out on little things and try to figure out where you can cut costs because shops that are willing to cut costs and they're willing to skimp, they're willing to also do work that's not superior quality and they just want your you know, money and, and, and they're done. Once they get paid, they can care less what happens. We've seen quite a few engines that were built improperly with using incorrect size studs, running way too much boost, way too much power, and the builds were very, very, very expensive, and some of the components that you're supposed to replace were not upgraded. The heads ended up lifting on some of them, so they had to go back in them and get them fixed, and that was a problem because most are not aware, and customers are there for us to guide them what they need as far as proper builds and if you're going to try to skimp on thirteen hundred dollars worth of studs it's definitely not worth it because then you got to disassemble your engine again but you're just putting the rods in and then trying to pump out thousand horsepower you can't do that this just doesn't work and we see that a lot most of these builds that we do our customers 99 percent of the time they know exactly what they're getting into they want a perfect product they don't want something that they're going to have to fix in another five thousand miles so this is why they go with billet crankshafts they go with new camshafts they go with new vario adjusters we have everything brand new that's going to be modified and that way he's got no issues anymore he's going to have a car that's going to be producing close to 1500 wheel horsepower which is a lot of power this does not mean that your existing engine components cannot be reused a lot of them can be and they just have to be inspected once they're removed but if they're our spec we do not reuse them if they're wore out to the point where you're going to have to go back into this engine and couple thousand miles we're just not going to use it because it's just not worth it there's a lot of labor involved with this moving on to the solid ims gear so let's talk a little bit about this gear we have and we also have a gt3 rs oil pump that we're going to be running i mean everything is just top notch on this build there's going to be no skimping at all here's our little cuts grooves and the liners are ready this is going to be for the fire rings we're going to have a firing here and then there's going to be another machine cut in here so there's going to be a stainless steel to, to uh, a dual row so it's going to be a locking type design once we start building it i'll show you guys it's going to be really 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 amazing these are the components where you cnc and have them properly fit and i get a lot of questions customers or just enthusiasts ask us hey what does it cost to build one it's whatever you want to spend. If only the best components are used and they're all brand new, you can easily spend over 100K and that's just the way it is with these engines. Just not even including some of the parts, of course, that we have on another shelf. But yeah, we're looking at a lot of parts. Now, obviously, when you go and you build your 997 and you want to make it a street performance vehicle, maybe have it around under 1,000 horsepower and maybe just replace your rods and run a 3.6. The problem with that is if you run a 3.6, which you can do, all that work, it's pretty much kind of for nothing. There's a lot of boost that you'll have to push. You'll still have to remove the eight millimeter studs. You have to get rid of them, put the 12s in here, 
because the heads will lift. You'll still have to run the fire ring. So you're halfway there. You might as well upgrade to larger pistons. This will run you the same because you want to run steel. You don't want to run aluminum. They will pop. They will pop. We had one from a vehicle that a couple years ago that was pushing right at 1,000 horsepower. They were running aluminum billet. And it had an issue with the hole that basically made its way in, in the upper section. It's just not going to be a very reliable build. You could use aluminum, but we don't advise it. It's going to be a very, very poor build. It will not last. These bad boys right here, though, these are very cool because this one actually runs with the proper the motorsports version because all the rest of them are actually just plugged. So we run this because they unbolt, especially a lot of boost, a lot of power. So this is pretty much why we recommend running these components. If you build it, you, you, you run way less boost. You're right at a bar. You could be making a thousand horsepower at 15 PSI. I mean, that's impressive. Where if you had your standard uh, 3.6 size pistons, and you got to push that thing almost to 30 PSI, and then the heads are going to suffer from a lot of pressure, and the engine's just going to wear out. It's just a lot of boost for this particular engine because you're trying to push through small pistons you know it's, it's just not worth it hope you guys enjoyed this video and like and subscribe and if we can help you with your next mesger engine build feel free to reach out to us thank you again and have a wonderful day